my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has been a minute since I filmed a full recipe video and I think it's time. So I figured I might as well go ahead and turn on the camera and film my tried and true beef and cauliflower rice burrito bowl. So I have shown this in several different videos previously. I have been eating this regularly on my Optavia plan and I figured I might as well have a dedicated recipe video for anybody else who's interested in duplicating this recipe or wanting to try this out on their own Optavia plan. So if you guys are new to my channel, let me bring you up to speed. I am currently in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlees Health Journey series, currently going through my Optavia 4, 2, and 1 plan. This recipe that I'm going to share today is also going to be Optavia 5 and 1 compliant, just for your reference. And for anybody who's just starting out on their plan, just so you know, the basics of the Optavia 5 and 1 plan is you're going to be eating five fuelings a day that come in your monthly Optavia box, and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments, and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlees Health Journey series. <laughs> Today is going to be a full lean and green meal that is going to be absolutely perfect for whatever Optavia plan that you are currently following. We are going to have a full serving of leaner, we're going to have three greens, we're going to add one healthy fat, and I personally think it will definitely fulfill the burrito bowl craving. So I might be a little basic, but I love myself a good bowl of beef, rice, and cheese. And I honestly just wanted to take the thinking out of it. This was a recipe that I just kind of threw together one day, I was like, I'm kind of craving like burrito burrito bowl-ish and decided to throw it together with a little bit of beef, a little bit of cauliflower rice, and I knew I needed some sort of a cheesy component, and voila! We came up with my beef and cauliflower rice lean and green recipe. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make that today, and I can't wait for you to implement this into your Optavia plan as well. So. Here's what you're gonna need. Number one, we are gonna need some ground beef. I personally like using the 96% lean ground beef. Allura's brand is the kind that I can find at Target. I know they have it at other grocery stores, but honestly, it just depends on where you're shopping. Sometimes you can't find this. So if you guys do end up using a fattier cut of meat, just make sure that you do adjust your recipe accordingly. But today we're gonna be using our 96% lean ground beef, and we are gonna be using six ounces of this cooked to count as one leaner portion of our lean and green meal. Next up, I I told you guys this was so basic. We're gonna add in some cauliflower rice. I like using the frozen cauliflower rice for this recipe just because I know it's not gonna go bad. It is so easy for me to just keep in the freezer and pull out whenever I make this recipe. And it's also super easy to measure. So this is going to keep things super simple on your Optavia plan. All we're gonna need from this is a cup and a half of frozen cauliflower rice for three greens in our lean and green meal. Then for the cheesy component of this recipe. So because we're choosing 96% ground beef, we need to add one healthy fat. So my healthy fat for today is going to be one original Swiss Laughing Cow cheese wedge. So if you guys are new to the Optavia world, just know that Laughing Cow is a staple in your Optavia plan. It just depends on which one you choose. So specifically this dark blue original Swiss Laughing Cow is going to count as one healthy fat for your day. If you choose any of the other ones, like my personal favorite is the garlic and herb or the spicy pepper jack, things like that, those are gonna count as one condiment. This one has a little higher fat content, so it does count as one healthy fat. Fat. So we're gonna be adding in one original Swiss Laughing Cow cheese wedge to our beef and cauliflower rice bowl. And last but not least, we're gonna make sure that nothing sticks to our pan. We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil spray. And that is it. This is a super basic recipe, but honestly super delicious. And if you're looking for something basic, super easy, and very simple to incorporate into your Octavia plan, this is the recipe for you. I know you're gonna love this one. Let's get started. Okay, so first step is we need to go ahead and pull out a big pan. So I have my pan heating here on medium high heat and I've got it ready to go to start with my beef. I'm gonna be cooking the full pound of my 96% ground beef today, but we're only gonna be using six ounces of this cooked. The rest I'll save for a future date or if I just wanna make this same recipe tomorrow, this makes about two servings. So I'm gonna throw the full pound of beef into my pan and I'm just gonna brown it for realistically probably between seven to 10 minutes. just the way I like it. I like a little overcooked, so I went a little longer than 10 minutes, but totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from my pan so that I can get ready for my cauliflower rice. 
While it's hot, I like to go ahead and measure out what I'm going to use first into the bowl that I'm going to use to serve. That way I can throw everything together and it's already measured. So I've got my bowl here. I'm going to measure out six ounces of my cooked ground beef. Now with the rest, I'm just going to store this in a Tupperware container so I can use on another day. replaced my pan right on the same burner. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan with a little bit of olive oil spray and then I'll cook my cauliflower rice. I've got my frozen cauliflower rice here, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure out a cup and a half of this directly into my pan on medium high heat. I'll cook this up for realistically five to seven minutes and then we'll bring everything all together. just about cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cooked six ounces of our 96% ground beef. Mix this together. And then I've made a little bit of an opening right in the center of my pan and our cauliflower rice and beef mixture. So right in the center, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one of our original Swiss Laughing Cow cheese wedges. I only need to leave this in here for realistically like a minute or so. I'm just gonna make sure it gets a little warmed through and it gets to the creamy consistency we're looking for to mesh right in with our cauliflower rice and our beef. Then I like to just cover it up so it has some time to heat through. a little bit of time to melt. I'm just gonna use my spatula and I'm gonna just press it into the meat and rice so that it can blend together. cauliflower rice mock burrito bowl. And honestly, you guys, this is so, so basic, but it is so, so delicious. And as you'll notice, this full lean and green meal counts as one liter, three greens, and one healthy fat, zero condiments. So you can jazz this up however you'd like. If you want a little extra cheesy goodness, you could add in another laughing cow cheese wedge. One of the ones that counts as a condiment, like one of the garlic and herbs, spicy pepper jack, whatever your favorite one is, add it in. And you can have two laughing cow cheese wedges. Or if you want to add in some spices, you could add in some salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever you want. This is just the bare bones recipe and you can make it your own. I'm telling you guys, I make this at least once a week, if not more, because it's so simple, but it's so, so good. And I love keeping things super easy and simple on my plan. And I know you guys do too. So if you guys try this out, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I got new videos coming to you guys every single week and I cannot wait to share this next phase of my healthy journey with you. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!